diggity darn. This is the third time this week you haven't worked. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Are you kidding Please me? Please leave a message after the beep. Seriously? When's my landlord gonna come and fix my sink? Huh? Am I have to fix it myself? Hello, I am the expert on all things maintenance and repairs when it comes to what tendons should and shouldn't do. There are a few things that can happen in this situation, but fixing it yourself is not an option because your landlord takes care of all your maintenance and repairs when it comes to your rented house. If in this example, your sink continues to not work and your landlord doesn't come and fix it, although they said they would, then you could be entitled to some compensation or rent abatement depending on how long the appliance goes unfixed for. To get the compensation or rent abatement, a tenant should apply to the Landlord and Tenants Board and fill out the T6 form within one year of the maintenance problem. Pick up the phone. Jeremy, dude, you gotta fix these lights, man. Oh, no, 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 no. You knew about those faulty light bulbs before moving in. It's not my problem anymore. Hello again. And as the agreement goes between the landlord and the tenant, the landlord must replace any faulty items or appliances that are in the rented space. This also includes if the tenant agrees to the rented space with a faulty item present. So in this scenario of the tenant calling the landlord about a faulty light is the correct way for the tenant to go about this situation. No, no, it is your problem because this is your house. Ah, my spice, my spice, no, 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 I cannot do this again. I, oh, oh my god, I have to go and buy more mouse traps. Oh my god. Actually, in this scenario, the tenant does not have to catch or dispose of the mice. Getting rid of pests and making sure they don't get in are part of the landlord's duties. The landlord must also take care of keeping the rentals at 20 degrees Celsius from September 1st to June 15th. As well, the landlord must clean and maintain common areas unless otherwise specified on a signed piece of paper in the rental agreement. These are just a few examples of some of the responsibilities that a landlord has in terms of maintenance and repairs. Baby, come here. Tack the mice. clean this or fold any of that. Maybe I'll give my landlord a call and have him do it. So you might be thinking that the tenant is gonna call up the landlord and get them to clean their room. Actually, not this time. Yes, a landlord has to do all the maintenance and repairs, but cleaning a dirty room is not one of them. Common areas, yes, that's the landlord's job, unless otherwise specified in the rental agreement. But uh, personal rooms, no, that's not the landlord's job, that's on you. In addition, a tenant is also responsible for replacing anything you or a guest breaks on purpose or because of carelessness. A tenant has a lot of sway on things, but these things specifically are on the tenant to take care of. Whoa, that storm did some serious water damage. Should I call the landlord? I mean, he never does any repairs. Maybe I should just call the handyman myself. The tenant should still call the landlord in this situation because it is the landlord's job to take care of all of your maintenance and repairs to your rental. 
However, if your landlord does not respond to your calls or emails about your maintenance issues, there are a few steps that you can take. If your landlord doesn't respond to you, you can A, send them a letter or an email, B, find out if other tenants are having the same problem as you, C, call a government inspector, D, get legal help, and E, apply for the Landlords and Tenants Board. Thanks, dude! You're welcome, and as always, remember, work hard and stay humble. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.